So in this problem, I'm shown a square, and all we're given is the fact that it is a square, okay, that's one thing that's important, and the fact that this distance, x, is two feet long. And they want to know what's the area of the square. So if you're going to figure out the area of a square, remember what's important. The area of a square is just equal to the side of the square squared. Okay, so we need to know the side length of this square. Uh, in other words, I would love to know this distance right here. Okay, if I know that distance in red, I can figure out the area of this square. So let's do that. What I have here in this picture is a square with uh, a measure from the center to a vertex, x. And if you imagine completing this picture by drawing a line like so, um, that distance is also going to be from the center to a vertex, which is the same. Squares are symmetric, so that's also going to be x. And I'm going to label this thing, I don't know what that is, let's just call it c. So if I use Pythagorean, the Pythagorean theorem, which says the square of one leg plus the square of another leg equals the square of the hypotenuse, we can figure this out. Remember what x is? We were given that. It's 2. So 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. And that means 4 plus 4 equals c, and that means, I'm sorry, c squared, and that means c squared equals 8. Now, before you start taking the square root of c squared to figure out what the side length is, you could do that, but you would just be squaring it again because I want the area, and the area is the side length squared, which we already have right here. So the area of this square is 8 square units. Now, if this were a different style of problem and you were asked for the perimeter, um, then you would need to take the square root, you would need to figure out what c is, and you would need to multiply it by 4 because there's 4 sides to the square, so you would need to add up all those c's. Uh, but those are the two basic flavors of this style problem. You ask for either the area or the perimeter, and what you have to do is use your knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem uh, to figure this out.